I think he's hearing it through the headphones. Who is it? It's me, Jeff! You were supposed to be at the summer camp hours ago! Oh, shit! Th sorry, Jeff, I, I overslept again. I knew it. Todd, do you hear that? Pay up my 20 bucks, bro. I won the bet. You bet that I will oversleep? Relax, you get 50%. By the way, since I knew this would happen, I told Tyler an hour ago to pick you up at the bus stop. I, I don't know why I always say that. Those two words together, weird. You know, the one near your house? Well, thanks, Jeff. I better grab my stuff and not keep Tyler waiting. Hey, Todd, hand over that 20 bucks. That's such a lame bet. Alidor, Alidor. I can go home. I have to meet Tyler. This is my... The entrance for my home? TV, that's horrible. Oh my god, I can run fast. This is really the entrance to my apartment? This is horrible. I, I live in a dumpster, I guess. Hi! Bird! <laughs> Scare the shit out of me, bro. <laughs> All right, where's the stop? Okay, I think it's over here, right? Very nice, state of the art. All right, let's just wait over here. <laughs> just do. Uh, sketchy. The police are investigating the disappearance of three young women in the last seven days. The bird is biting my, my hands. <laughs> three women, aged between 20 and 24, have gone missing this week. A resident in the area claims that on the night of one of the disappearances, he spotted a strange individual lurking around the vicinity of one of their homes. However, due to poor lighting in the area, he could not make a positive identification the city is big wilder what how do i say that by these events and authorities have advised residents to avoid going after dark secure doors and windows and report any suspicious activity to the emergency hotline oh fuck holy shit i pressed it by accident Oh my god. Nerd alert. Damn, what a scare. Uh, what are you doing here alone? Buses don't run this late. Uh, why are you wearing sunglasses at night? Can you get out of my face? Stop that motherfucker and take his glasses. <laughs> We're gonna... You know, I'm all about that. We play GTA, so... Why is he wearing sunglasses and booty shorts? Those are booty shorts? <gasps> they are booty shorts. What's his problem? Mm. Oh, I just sat down. Has no one taught you not to approach people like that? Are you waiting for someone? It's none of your business. I'm waiting for a girl. On second thought. I think I've already found her. What are you talking about? I love walking at night. The silence. The city changes completely. Dude, you're nuts. This is some tight ass leggings. What are you doing? What, what is he waiting for? pants though I mean how can it take him seriously when he's wearing tight ass pants <laughs> I can't run oh my god piccolo if I need to run I can't with you on my head 
can you? He's gonna kill me. What the hell? What are you waiting for? Hey! Oh my god, the the car saved me. Almost died. Yeah, Tyler. Hey, Maya. Who is that guy? I don't know, but he gave me a creep. Uh, you didn't notice the huge knife? Maya. There's some people. There are some really weird people around here. Come on, get in. Almost died, guys. Almost died. And here we are. One more year. What's the plan? I gotta finish decorating the place with the Halloween stuff and get some of the games ready for tomorrow. But, but don't worry, there's plenty of time to get everything sorted. Go, drop off your stuff at the cabin and meet us at the dining hall. Uh, Maya, you're not gonna say anything about the knife? Like, you gotta call the cops and say like, yo, I was, a, I was at the stop. And some guy came up to me with a knife. Like you gotta, you gotta report that stuff, right? What the heck? Find your cabin and leave the pack backpack. Okay. Watch, watch it be the the furthest cabin. The one in the middle of nowhere. This is not my cabin. Oh my god! I like the steps. This is not my cabin. Do not poop on me, please, guy. Please. Please. Here, come up here. There you go. This is not my cabin. This is not my cabin. So I have no cabin? Oh, there's more over here. Oh, God. This is not my cabin. Oh, this is my cabin. Why is, why is? Bro, what the hell? What kind of summer camp is this? I'm just gonna inspect. Damn, I like this cabin. This is like, before I join the guys, I should drop off my backpack. Oh, this is like the dining hall. You just want to be next to me. I know, I know. Um, bathroom? Oh no, no bathroom. Okay. So I guess we don't hear poop. It's a screwdriver. Uh, I'm probably gonna need that screwdriver. Uh, make a note of that. So, we just got to the summer camp, we're leaving our backpack, and we're going to the dining hall. What is this? Hold on, what? Why is this... No light switch? Alright. Whatever. I guess it's the bathroom. Oh, they're turning it on! Hey! 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 Hey, look at this guy. Ooh, look at BBL, guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't even crouch. Can I crouch? No. Hey, turn it up, guys. Jeff. Jeff is here. Welcome! Todd, hey Maya, dance a little. I don't know how to dance, guy. I can't dance. Oh my god, bro, you're gonna... You're gonna hurt me as a disc? What the hell? I can't go over there. Beth? Maya, you finally arrived! Come on, I have something to show you. That's an ugly-ass haircut, let me tell you. I didn't talk to Tyler or whatever, but Tyler took me, so... We don't need to talk to him, right? Uh, Beth, you're being super weird. Where are you taking me? 
Girl, look at that BBL on you, girl. Do not poop on me, Piccolo, please. Not on stream. He's gonna poop on me, I already know. He needs to poop. <laughs> uh, is this my cabin? This is my cabin. Why is she walking into my cabin like this? How's life in your new city? Did you get the job you wanted? Uh, yeah. I uh, thought it turned out to be crap, like every job I've had so far. Sometimes I think I should have stayed in the town and continued with the family business. Uh, Maya working at her parents' bar for her whole life? No way. You've been a rebel, but also the smartest among us. You just have to keep trying. You get what you're looking for in the end. You think so? I'm sure. What do you think? What the hell is this? Whoa! Is this what you had to show me? Yup, I'm wearing it tonight. What? Is that just a bra and panty? What? Who's the lucky one? Jeff. <laughs> You're dating Jeff? Shh. The others don't know yet. I don't want us to be the subject of our of their jokes tonight. Whoa, just you just have your bra and panties with you like that? What the hell? Since when? Not long. Just a week. Despite being a joker and steaming like a jerk at times, he's very romantic. Maya, Beth, let's all gather by the fire. Join us! Ready for an annual horror story session? I guess so. Let's go. So Beth and Jeff are gonna die first, 100%, because they're a couple. She just went to my cabin to show me just a bra and panties. All right, everyone's here. I'm sure you all heard about the counselor who lost his life in this very camp 20 years ago. His name was Dirk. It all started as a prank by the other counselors on a night like this. Also, during the preparations for the Halloween party. The counselors thought it would be fun to play a prank on Derek. But first, they had to spook him. So they all gathered by the fire to tell a horror story. Just like we're doing right now. One of the counselors told the story of the pumpkin killer. The pumpkin killer? Yeah. It's an old legend. My grandpa told me about it when I was a kid. Many years ago, in the town, they found a witch and burned her alive. <laughs> but before she died, the witch said that every year at midnight, right at the beginning of, of October 31st, her spirit would return to seek revenge on everyone. Damn, Todd has no neck, bro. It's said that the curse brings back a serial killer who can be hurt or killed. His head is covered by a pumpkin and no one has ever seen his face. A serial killer? What the hell? After finishing the story, one of the girls started screaming, pointing towards the trees. And there he was, the pumpkin killer, holding a bloody axe. Everyone started screaming and running, but the killer was only after Derek who ran to his cabin and locked himself in. One of the counselors cut the power, and then everyone surrounded the cabin, banging on the walls. Damn, that's terrifying. That's a horrible prank. Leave me alone! I haven't done anything! Derek shouted from inside the cabin. You could also hear him crying. Then, everything felt silent. After a few seconds, Derek's friends started laughing and shouting, It's a prank, Derek! Come on now! You can come out. We're sorry. Yeah, right. They're not sorry. But Derek didn't answer or open the cabin door. Faced with the silence, the counselors started to worry. So they turned the power back on. One of the guys entered through one of the windows to find out what was happening. Derek was dead. <gasps> the one who pretended to be the pumpkin killer was one of Derek's roommates. It seems that while he was picking out the axe for the prank, he left the others laying on the ground. Huh, what? He was picking out the axe for the prank, he left the others laying on the ground. Due to panic and darkness, Derek tripped and fell headfirst onto the only axe 
whose edge was pointing upward. Wow. His friend found him in a pool of blood with his head split in half. Then. <gasps> Tyler. Damn, Tyler, not funny. How is he hanging like that? It's hilarious. Ha ha ha. All right, enough of the stories. We need to get to work. Maya, there are still some decorations left to put up. Can you place some, some pumpkins at the entrance? I think there, will, there are still some in the lake cabin. Oh, God. Sure. How is he hanging like that upside down? Damn, everyone left me? Look for pumpkins and candles in the lakeside cabin. Uh, which one is that, though? I don't like those weird sounds. I'm glad you're with us again this year. Hot? Alright, it's not here. It's super far, probably. Louis, you're getting banned right now. The lake, like, yeah, they will give me. It doesn't make sense to get so far away. All right. They would give me the only task. What is that? Oh shit! They're making out. Uh, uh, guys. Uh, uh, sorry, but um, um, I need to get the pumpkins over there. Can you stop kissing? Like. You guys knew I had to come here, and you guys decided to still come here and make out. You know, like what? What is this? You two should head to your cabin. Oh shit, we've been busted. Relax, Maya knows. What? You told her? Maya's a good friend. She won't say anything. I'm a tomb. Come on, Jeff. You and I have something pending. Oh, Maya, could you do me a favor? Oh my god. Uh, what do you need? Jeff and I were supposed to pick up the Halloween piñata and hang it, hanging it, hang it on the gallows. Could you take care of it? Bro. Fine. I guess so. Where's the store? In the workshop. Near the forbidden area. You mean the old workshop? Yes, they haven't started building the new one yet. Weren't they supposed to construct it this morning? Uh, that was the plan initially, but the guys couldn't gather enough money. Oh, I see. Alright, I'll handle the piñata once I'm done placing the pumpkins. Thanks. Bro. I... Always, always in these situations that uh, you wanna, you know, your friend wants to do some stuff. And you let them get away, you... You know, just so they can do whatever it is that they want to do. You know, you take one for the team. Really? We're going to have 10 pumpkins in the entrance? I have to place them one by one. That's crazy. There we go. Now I need to find a lighter. Maybe Tyler has one. I'll ask him. My god, bro. I have to do so much walking. Tyler, uh, do you have a lighter? I left it with Todd. Go check inside. Wow, bro. Todd, do you have a lighter? I needed to light some pumpkins. I left it on one of the tables, but return it when you're done. I still need it. Sure, it's right here. I don't know how I'm lighting this up. It's done. Time to go get the piñata, but first I have to return the lighter to Todd. Just burn some of these trees. Here's the lighter, stupid ass. Thanks. Alright, look for the workshop and pick up the piñata. So the workshop, I believe, is where I was coming. I was going ahead the first time. Now it lets me come. Oh no. I mean, I did that to myself. Time to go back and hang the piñata on the gallows. Oh my god, I hate this. What's over here though? 
generator. Okay, good to know. Thank God there's no, like, stamina. Oh, God. Where are these people? Where's the gallows? Over here. Done. I think there's nothing more to do. I'll go see if they need help with in the dining hall. Oh my god. I think things are about to start. Hey Todd. What are you, what are you doing, guy? Hey Maya, grab a beer and join the party. Is this what you call a party? Where's Tyler? He said he was looking for you at the workshop. Thought you got lost. He'll be back when he sees you're not there. Uh, oh god. What's wrong with the lights? Do you know if the generator has fuel? Uh, what's wrong? I activated it this afternoon, but I forgot to check the fuel level. Oh my god, Todd. Great. At least we have pumpkins. Yeah, pumpkins. What do we do now? Someone has to go to the generator. Here, take Tyler's slider. Why don't you go, Todd? What do you mean by take Tyler's slider? Don't you plan on coming with me? Who, me? No way. I'm not going to in the dark to the generator. Come on. What's that smell? Oh, I know. I think you crapped yourself. You should change your pants or you'll attract all the flies around here. Ha ha ha. Look at me laughing. You're a pussy, bro. Oh my god, Tyler. I thought you got lost. Went to look for you. What happened to the lights? I thought you were uh, with Beth. <laughs> Todd forgot to check the fuel level of the generator. Typical of him. By the way, where is he? He's staying in the dining hall. He's too scared to go to the generator in this darkness. Hopeless. I'll go with you. Thanks. Nice. I like Tyler. Where's Jeff and Beth? Oh, it's Jeff, the one. Okay. Busy. Busy? I think they're still... They're still with the decorations. Games for tomorrow and all that. Ah, oh, well, I thought we were done. Apparently not. There should be gas in the workshop. Go ahead and check the generator. I'll be there soon. Ah, uh, that's... That's weird. Uh, Tyler, can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? The generator is broken. What do you mean? Where's Tyler? Someone cut the cables. Are you sure? Maybe a rat chew on them. The cuts are clean. It couldn't have been a rat. Yeah, there's a rat among us. Wait, I'm coming to see. <coughs> Tyler, are you okay? Tyler? Crap, what's happening? I don't know why I'm standing... Oh my god, Tyler. Are you playing a joke on me? Tyler? Is that blood? Tyler, I hope this is this isn't one of your pranks or you're dead. I better go back to camp. left Tyler behind like that? Did they hang another piñata? Oh my god. That's Tyler. Or Jeff. <gasps> That's Todd! Oh god, Todd! Who could have done something like this? I have to find the others. Beth! Holy shit. Beth, open the door. Beth, I'm coming, damn it. Uh, I'm in... I'm in danger. Beth, you stupid purple bra. What's going on? I'm busy. We need to call the police. Someone has murdered Todd. And Tyler's missing. All right, Maya, I don't have time for jokes. It's not a joke. I'm telling you, Todd is dead. Someone killed him and hung him on those damn gallows. Hi, Maya, whatever you say. Now I have to get back inside and continue what I was doing. 
Jeff, are you okay? Jeff, give me a second. Oh my god. Beth is dead. Is there a back door? There's no back door over here? I need to get to her. Ah! Beth? I need to... I need something to cut that damn chain. Is there something around here? I saw... Something on this guy, yeah. Damn it, Todd. I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Beth, we need to call the police. <laughs> Jeff is dead. I know, and I'm sorry. But we need to tell someone who will be next. Beth, I need you to react. Fine, I'm sorry. Can, can you call the police? I have to do it all. I have to pick up the pijata. I have to get the ball cutters. I have to do everything. This guy is butt naked. Girl, you don't want clothes? Um, okay. Alright. Oh, shit. We're locked. Uh, my backpack? Do I have a phone in here? Oh, the phone isn't working. I think someone cut the line. What about the phone in your cabin? I don't think it's a good idea. Whoever's doing all this must have destroyed all the phones. They don't want anyone leaving. What the hell do we do now, Maya? The cars, right? The damn cars. Where are the keys? I don't know. Tyler stored them somewhere. They could be in his cabin. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure of anything. Okay, I'll go check. I'm coming with you. I'm not staying in here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's gonna die as soon as she opens the door. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Uh, damn it. I need something to remove the screws from the window. Screwdriver? See, we knew it. I need a ladder. Ladder. Anyway, everyone's jumping like flies, man. Where could Tyler have put the keys? Search for no keys here. That's the toilet. We don't want to search there. No, not again. Nothing. Nothing here. Nothing here. No keys here. It seems like he's gone. Where the hell are those damn keys? The keys are not in the cabin. I think Maya. Maybe I can cross the lake with one of the canoes. I think there are some houses on the other side. Maybe they can help me. Uh, do I come out the same way I enter? Or do I come out in the front? Oh no. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, guys. 100%. Oh my god, Tyler! Tyler, you're alive? Are you okay? Someone attacked me when I left the workshop, but I managed to escape. I think I have cuts all over my body. Where are the others? They're all dead. Beth, Beth, Jeff, Todd. This is a nightmare. Where are the canoes? I don't know. I ran here to get on one across the lake but they weren't here i don't know what's happening damn it we have to find a way out of this place the camp gate is locked the car keys are missing phones don't work and the canoes are gone how are we supposed to get out of here swim across the lake the lake is too big to swim across we'll freeze and drown before making it to the other side exactly we have no way to escape we're both gonna die but there has to be some way of course why didn't I think of it before? The forbidden zone. What's there that can help us? Have you ever heard the story of the tunnel? Guys, just get straight to the point. What tunnel? What are you talking about? 
When I was a kid, my father told me that children from the camp started disappearing, but later they, they would reappear. This went on for several days. One day, our counselors secretly followed them and discovered the kids had found an old tunnel hidden in the ground. Apparently, the tunnel led to another side, to the other side of the road. And do you know how to get to the tunnel? I only know it's in the forbidden zone, under one of the cabins. But I don't know if the tunnel really exists. Maybe it was just a story. We don't seem to have many other options. We should check if what you were, what you were told is true. Oh God. Fine. Let's get going. I hope you know how to get there. I could barely find this workshop. Don't worry, I know the way. But stay close to me. Wink, wink. All right, let's go. Can we run, guy? Like we're a little bit of a. It's a little urgent. You know. Maybe I should turn off this lighter because I really don't need it. Come on, Tyler. I can't run past them. Oh God, what was that? Hello? Someone there? Uh, Tyler, shut the fuck up, you idiot. What if this kill is the killer and he hears us? The killer? We better hurry, let's go. Uh, Tyler, wait. Damn it, Tyler. Bro, he ran so fast. He's behind me, 100% he's behind me. I'm dead. I'm so dead. This fucking guy can't trust anyone these days. No, no. No, no, no. Where did Tyler go? Oh god. Let's go to the left. It's a fucking idiot. Nothing? I can't go in there, right? He's not in here. Alright. Tyler, you fucking idiot. It's locked. I need to figure out the combination. Why? seems to have been on use for years okay there's more cabins over here oh god diary today marks one year since jack's death we all miss him and feel guilty especially me i never forget forgive myself for suggesting that prank maybe i should have told the police instead of claiming it was an accident I can stop having nightmares since it happened. October 7th, 69. Sometimes I think I shouldn't shouldn't come back to this camp anymore. The longer I stay here, the worse the nightmares get. Tomorrow I'm going to suggest moving it near moving it near the lake. I'm sure the other ones will agree with me. Moving what though? Today I talked to the rest of the group about relocating the camp near the lake. Everyone thought it was a fantastic idea. So in September, we'll start pre preparing the ground and building the new cabins. This morning, my wife came to visit. And I got a pleasant surprise when I saw she, bought, she brought Maya with her. They're going to stay around for a couple of days. I'm sure both of them will have a great time. This afternoon, Wayne tried to blow his head off. No one knew. What? No one knew he brought a gun to the camp. Spencer had been warning us for days that Wayne's behavior was strange, claiming he seemed depressed, so he's been keeping an eye on him. This afternoon, he saw Wayne wander a bit away from camp and follow him without noticing. When he got far enough, Wayne pulled out the revolver, and he was lucky Spencer f he was lucky Spencer followed him. Thanks to him, he's still alive. We all gather to talk to him, to help him. But he needs more than our help. He's also broken by Jack's death, feeling om almost as gu guilty as I do. A few minutes.
decided to go, oh my God, the guys and I decided to close the camp and not reopen until we move in near the lake. I think it'll be good for all of us to leave this place for a while. I've stored a revolver in the safe in my cabin and notified the police to pick it up. I told them I left the combination written on a laminated card inside the wool bucket. I don't think anyone will bother checking it. Wool bucket. Where the hell is a wool bucket? It's a wool bucket by the well? I'm guessing, right? Let's just make sure they're not inside the house. is lit but the door is closed. Tyler are you in here? Um, this lighter is pretty good. Probably is a Zippo. Zippo lighter. I need something to retrieve the bucket. Maybe a hook like the one Todd used to hang the pumpkins. There might be one in the workshop. You want me to go back to the workshop? Holy shit. That is so far away. Bro. Oh. You better have some stamina, girl. Oh my god. Do we? I need some water. All this running. Ah. How is it going? It's um We're gonna die. Ah! I died. Run! I don't know. Where I'm supposed to run to, but I'm running. I'm running. Is he behind me? Is he behind me? Oh, he's not. Oh, he's right there! Fuck! He's walking! Where do I go? towards Tyler so he kills Tyler oh my god to go back. I have to get it. Still there. Still walking. You guys see him on the left? run for it I hate this game I hate being chased I do not like that at all I have to get the revolver I have to kill the pumpkin that's the only way I have to kill him I'm gonna do this now with this guy walking around. Yep. 
that a dog that just hurt? Oh my god, he's right there. like the key to one of the cabins. Around. Where is it? Where he is? You go back to a workshop. What is that weirdo doing? Beat him up! What is that weirdo doing in the? I don't see him though. I don't see him at all. Go inside the cabin with Tyler. Today marks 20 years since your death. I've been living all this time with a strong hatred in my heart, but finally the day has come to let it all out, to avenge those who took you away from me and mom. I do this to honor your memory and mom's. She took her own life shortly after you left. Now those who still survive will feel what I felt. When I snatched the life of their children, their lives will be left in darkness, just like mine was extinguished. We love Tyler. You always be in my heart. I see you're at a loss for words. Do you know it was your father who ended my father's life? I've been waiting for this day for years, and it's finally here. They'll finally feel what I felt all these years, and my father can rest in peace. You're sick. I'm so sick that I'll chop you into pieces with this axe and send you home. To your parents in a box i love to see their looks on their faces when they see what's inside you're insane you damn psychopath am i the psychopath your father started all of this my mother took her own life after my father's death i became an orphan <laughs> and i'm the psychopath you murder your friends they weren't guilty of anything of course not it's nothing personal against you guys but against your parents I shot him twice! Alright, alright, let's skip this part. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many? Oh my god! How many shots does this guy take? Brittle floor. This part of the floor seems more fragile than the rest. I, if I could teabag you, I would. Tonal entrance. So it was true. Towards the end of the... Of this game. I'm gonna go left. I mean, oh god. Okay, there's an arrow. Okay. Oh god. Maybe... It meant this way. Back. 
I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. Ah, I don't know. Do I even follow these stupid tunnels? Circles. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so it's time to go this way. To go this way. Could there be more arrows, please? This way. Oh god. Thank god. Where do you think you're going? He's alive? You won't be able to get out of here without the key I have in my pocket. I thought you died. I have to find him now. Oh god. I hate this. I hate this so much. Tyler! Uh, who's running now? Tylercito! Come back over here! shots can we kill him thank god they made me skip going through the maze again runs fast should join olympic Olymp must have been walking for about 10 minutes oh no can we run what's happening oh my god I don't like this. Looks like a vehicle's coming. It's Tyler. Thank God! I need help! What's going on? Someone has murdered my friends. What? What are you talking about? Please, I need to speak to the police. Oh my god, come on, get in the car. It's a fucking guy. There's an in intersection up ahead. When you get there, turn right. And about five kilometers away, there's a police station. Don't worry, I know the area. Thank you. It's the guy from the from the beginning. It's the guy from the beginning. Can you go faster, guy? Uh, I'm a bit of a hurry over here. the light region 16 to the city make a right make a right make a right yo you just missed the intersection you dumbass Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Hey! I'm talking to you! Damn, let me out. I'm done. I'm done. Wow. I'm dead.
There's no escaping death, guys. That is the moral of the story. It was a good game. I'm not gonna lie, I uh, enjoyed it. I, I like the fact- Oh my god. I like the fact that there was a little bit of chasing, not too much. Like, it wasn't like the main thing of the game. Uh, the plot twist I enjoyed of Tyler being the psycho. You know, I enjoy that. Not a lot of puzzles, you know. A lot of back and forth, but... What do you guys think? You guys like the story? The end, Tyler was a psychopath that wanted to kill us and... Almost did, but didn't kill me, obviously. Pfft, can't kill me. First, your friends want to kill you. Then, a random dude that... For some reason, found you. Way far from your house. Craziness.